Can I help you? They're ceiling tiles. How hard is it? Well, it's leaking all over the carpet. Look, I don't care. If you don't have it done by midnight, I'm locking the doors. Yeah, both offices. Make it happen. Hi. William Weber. I'm sorry. <laughs> William Weber. My father. Are you family? I'm his daughter. I didn't recognize you in the pictures. Yeah, I'm not in any of these. Color blue, room 305. Color blue, room 305. Hi, we have people to do that. I'm fine. Here, I brought your water. We, we, we have to go get the kids. Yeah. Come to me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Ali, what are you doing? It's my waffle. Mind your own business. Hey guys. Hey mom. Wow. We weren't expecting you back so soon. Okay. Clearly, why is that smoking right now? What is this? That's right, my best. waffle. That's not a waffle. I'm not really sure what that is. Why don't we try to eat something a little healthier and not have our backpack on the stove? Thank you for that attitude. Welcome home, Mom. All right, so um, what can I then try to make you for actual breakfast? A waffle? Can't make you a waffle. Your waffle is now a crouton. So you get this lovely muffin. You are welcome. Love it. Yeah, thank you for the stink eye though. Wow, red dye number 40 for breakfast. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have grapes. Much better, not a cookie. Cool, where are we at on algebra? Are we ready for our test today? Yes. Okay, great. Today we're gonna cover that in a car. 
band for you, right? What are we gonna do over here? We got your guitar, we're gonna be in the car, we're gonna study your work. All right, we've got our breakfast. You're gonna have a bowl of cereal instead of all of that. All right, so I know you have a busy day. I clearly have a busy morning. What is happening here? So we're gonna go for five minutes. Five minute morning? Yes, we're gonna have everything we need in the car. Five minutes, yeah? All right, teamwork, smile, looks way better. Okay, love you, miss you, shake a tail feather. All right, we're gonna go. Yeah. Did, did you see this? Apparently we get to have the side parking on Magnolia Rezoned. First cup of coffee. I already deal with that on Tuesday, sure. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go do my rounds. Text me if you need me. Is your dad? It's for me, see? I just hate the bus. You know, when I lived in Chicago, I had to ride the bus, gosh, until I was. Oh, probably... gosh. Here you go again. Stop, Mom. Hey, why don't we worry about your sister getting a diploma and a driver's license, maybe a job, and then we can worry about a car, okay? Okay. Where did you go? When? Dad said you were going to go to Chicago for a few days. Yeah, I went. He also said you were going to go visit your family? I did. Is that like your mom or something? No, actually I saw my dad. Really? How is he? He died. Hey, my parents, in Chicago, all of that family out there, they're not really my family, okay? You, your dad, your sisters, us, that's my family. I know it seems odd, but it's just how it is. You can't just pick your own family. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I think I was four years old the first time I put money in that piggy bank. Mom, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Listen. <clears throat> but my dad, he seemed to have started a new life, I guess. He seemed happy. So, I mean, he wasn't that involved with me growing up, right? Not like your dad is with you. So I just, I didn't live with him a lot. I lived with him for a few years in Chicago, but I mean, I lived here too. So I kind of bounced around a lot. Weird, I know, but just how it was. Why didn't you stay? With my dad? Yeah. Did they not have a funeral? I don't think so, I don't, I don't know. I think it'd be good if you went. Yeah, I'll look into it. I'll go with you, Mom. Thanks, buddy. Hey, bud. Yeah. <sighs> Wish 
should go this year. To what? The real estate awards. And do what? Well, they have a new category this year, best real estate investor and property management. It's right up your alley. Oh, yeah, I don't usually win the popularity contest. Uh, this wouldn't be a popularity contest. You'd win based on talent. Right. You know what they need to do? They, they should have a category, best property maintenance slave, because I think I could win that one for sure. What do you want to do for dinner? Mm. Can we do pizza? I completely forgot. I've got that woman's group at Heather's. It's like seven. Maybe this weekend, you and I, just you and I, we could have a dinner, like a date or a movie or something. What are you gonna do with your dad? What do I care? I went. You one minute ago, you thought it would be a good idea. I agreed with you. I went. We're good. William Weber is finally dead. It's like he knew it was coming. He had it all planned out. There were all these pictures up on his walls. And it was, it was like I didn't even exist. But I fixed that. Did he say anything to you? And then in like perfect timing, he dies, she shows up. Who? Oh, the newest wife. Oh. She looked at me like, what are you doing here? Um, he's my dad, so. You know if um, they're gonna have a funeral? I don't know. Do you know if your mom knows? Did you just say your dad died? It's not a big deal at all. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. We weren't even that close, to be honest with you. I, I know, but it's still your dad. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. It's not a thing at all. I'm super hungry, though. I'd love you know some what? of the food. If I could we, have... we're, we're super glad you're here, Andrea. Okay, yeah. super glad. And we're just getting ready to get started. Okay, okay so, oh. you know, help yourself. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and go into the family room, right? Okay. 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 Thank you. that I'm here. Okay. My grandmother called from Chicago, said that my father wasn't doing very well. He was sick in the hospital. So I went down to see him and talked to him. I mean, he talked to me, I guess, briefly. And then he died. I'm so sorry. Thanks. And, and your mother? I don't know. What did he die from? I don't know. What about your brothers and sisters? I don't have any, really. Really? Was it from COVID? I don't know. 
What about the funeral? I don't know. Can we send something? <laughs> no, it's fine. Let us send something to the house. What, what's the address? Oh, we could send one of those fruit baskets. Does the family like kiwi? What would be a good gift for the family? Maybe a cart and a marbles and a liter of whiskey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My dad was an alcoholic. I mean, I guess my mom was too. I grew up with that, that's what I know. I knew the, the hitting and the fighting and the abuse and... That's not what sucks, you guys. That's what nobody cared. <laughs> I mean, you know how sometimes people tell a story and they'll say, I remember the good old days. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Why are these so sticky? Was she playing with these? I never wanted to have children and I promise you I won't be having any more. Just like having an extra piece of furniture around that you don't even really want. Well, trust me, you're never having another one. Just the one. And you know, I'm not even sure that one's mine. Oh, shut up, Bill. She looks just like you. Pick waterhead. Do you think they care, kid? They don't care. But I do. It was Christmas Day. I was seven years old. No one came to look for me. Who did you call? I mean, my grandparents came. That's about the time I moved in with them. It, it wasn't much better. <laughs> Grandma Ann was also an alcoholic. And, I mean, she wasn't nearly as violent as my dad, of course, but... Man, could she hurt just as bad with her words. What now? I think I lived with her for maybe three years. I mean, she had a routine. She would drink her cocktails and then remind me of how stupid I was. You're a piece of trash! I didn't say a word, I think, until I was four, so I mean, she had a point. <laughs> My grades in elementary school were not awesome. No, I lived there with them in Chicago for, I mean, a year, maybe. Then my grandma found my parents. She found them? Here. <laughs> they moved here to Phoenix. Never told anybody. No Christmas, not my birthday. I never heard from them. So we surprised them, and boy, were they surprised. I didn't know if I was being dropped off, visiting. I mean, you know, there's something kind of 
about not knowing where you're going to live or where you're going to go to school. <laughs> My mom got home and she was happy to see me. That felt good. My mom put me in Rosewood School and we were one big happy family. And well, until about two weeks later when Dad got mad and beat me, beat Mom. Dad gets out of jail, and now mom has met another man. <laughs> this entire time, she was completely horrible to me. But dad now, I mean, he's been rehabilitated, right? So he wants custody of me now, and so we're gonna go to court. Your Honor, the truth is, Miss Weber here, she hasn't held down a job most of her adult life. She's been in and out of jail and rehab, and the only reason that she currently has a roof over her head is because of the boyfriend, which is why we're asking for full custody. It'll be a cold day in hell. Order. Judge, Mr. Weber here is a truck driver. He's never home. He has a sordid criminal record, mostly drugs and alcohol. He was just released from prison. The mother has maintained residence. I say we just stay with the, the current arrangements. And who are these people in the back? Your Honor, that is the uh, paternal grandmother and Mr. Weber's sister. Ladies, do you have anything to weigh in on this? I think Andrew would be better with my son. I feel like he's got his life back in order. Thank you. And do you want to say anything? Yeah, I mean, he has his issues but Andrea really looks up to her dad. Andrea, who do you want to live with? I want to live with my dad. What? So be it. Case closed. reason I was the reason my mom left my dad took me back to Chicago of course he had already got a new girlfriend the new girlfriend she got tired of babysitting while dad was on the road so she left I was nine and I was alone sometimes days sometimes weeks Dad would leave me with just a few dollars. I had to make it last. I learned how to do it. I learned how to be alone. I didn't do well at school. Never really did. My grandmother came over to check on me. My father was drunk. For no reason, I watched my father beat his mother. My father was arrested. And when my grandmother got out of the hospital, I went to live with her. This one time, uh, we were late for church, I remember, and my mom left the keys in the car, and we only had one set, and my dad got so mad that he hit the bookshelf, and it broke. Not the same thing. I know. 
I was just trying to loosen the mood. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's pretty much it. There's not much left. <laughs> well, wait a minute. What do you, I mean, I, you're going to tell us what it is, though, right? Yeah. We're here to listen. Where was I? Oh, dad beat up grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she was at, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I lived with my grandmother throughout most of high school. I'd see my dad every so often. I even lived with him for a year or two. You know, then the abuse would get started and I'd have to go back to my grandma. It was weird. It's like he'd, he'd get a new girlfriend and everything would be great and They'd break up. Somehow he'd blame me. That's when the touching started. What? Let's just say high school was tough. What about your mom? I figured she was dead. So I moved on and I was just about to graduate when I got the phone call. You told me my mother was dead. She is! Grandma, that was her on the phone. That crazy woman called here. She's dead to me! And if you want to stay in this family, she'll be dead to you! I didn't listen. I invited my mom to my graduation. She didn't show up. That's how it's been with my mom ever since. I graduated from college, nothing. Moved out here and started my company, nothing. Married Ronnie and started a family, nothing. <laughs> Andrea, you know, we are so blessed to know you and, and to get to know you even deeper it's and I want you to know that I see God I see how God has taken something so ugly and turned it into something so beautiful I mean look at you your 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 beautiful amazing successful family the things you've gone through are unimaginable and I, I want you to know I do, I do really we appreciate you telling us all of this but how do you deal with growing up with abusive parents like that I mean when my grandma gets mad she locks herself in the closet 
And now when my mom gets mad, she locks herself in the closet. That's all they know. Again, Grace, not the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I could tell you I do know how I don't want to be as a parent. But if that's all you ever saw as a kid, I mean, a mom that treated you this way and a dad that was the same, how else would you know how to parent? Please don't take that wrong. Oh no, I'm, Ronnie and I have talked about it. I mean, we have goals in our marriage and in our family. You know, we have a destination that we want to meet. And anytime anything gets in the way of that, you know, destination that we have, we squash it. Well, why don't we uh, pray and wrap up the evening, yeah? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together, and um, we thank you for Andrea and this amazing journey that she has been on. Father, we pray for any opportunities that you would love to bring her for healing and reconciliation just as you have reconciled us to you through your son, Jesus. We ask all this in your holy name. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, so next week is Andrea's. We can switch if you have too much going on. No, it's fine. And that's when he said, he's like, oh, no, ma'am, first class is not going to Hawaii. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks. How long is the plane ride, Grandma? Oh, my gosh, about five hours, and I had to do a transfer, and there was a man sitting next to me with a really long beard, and he snored. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Dad, when are we going on the plane? Well... Hopefully soon. I can't give you anything specific, but uh, hopefully soon. <laughs> this pizza smells so good. Oh, gosh. You know, I used to take your mom out for pizza when she was a little girl. We'd go out every Sunday afternoon, and her favorite was pepperoni. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Nothing. What's your name? My name's Allie. You're so beautiful, Allie. She's still yeah, loving it. Hey. Bye. <laughs> Mom? What are you doing here? Sweetheart. Oh, God. We need to talk. Sorry about that. What are you doing here? I internet search engined you. What? Computers. Is this about Dad? Your dad? Yes. No. I wanted to see you. You know he died, right? Yesterday in Chicago? Yeah, I know. The boy out there told me. The your grandson. The boy. Yeah, yeah. I pretended that I already knew. I don't want my grandkids thinking our family isn't close. <laughs> Are you serious? We're not close. None of us are close. Did you see him? Yeah. So how, uh, how was he? What did he die from? Smoking, drinking, I don't know, pick one. Aren't you sad? He was my husband. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, you have not changed at all. Oh, oh come on, oh, Andrea. Stop. You turn it on. <laughs> what are you doing here? I miss you. <laughs> Janice. You cannot just Janice, come into, Janice. Come into my home. I am your mother. My mother died 25 years ago. She can stay in my room, Mom. Don't you ruin my family, too.
What do you want to do? Put her in a hotel room. But don't you dare pay for that room because she is really good at using sympathy to get what she wants for free. She's, she's great at it. Honey, we, we can't put her in a hotel room. You don't know her. I know she's not perfect. I know she's your mom. And I know she's here. She's not human. Why don't we just give it a little bit of time? You know, see how it, it works out. You have to admit, it was pretty cool that Hallie offered to let her stay in her room. She wouldn't let me stay in that room. What are you doing? Making my bed. Where's Janice? Janice? Grandma. Where's Grandma? We got up early. She's already downstairs. Okay, get ready for school. What are you doing? Good morning. Making breakfast. Hey, I met the neighbors. They're really nice people. When I went on my walk with Ellie this morning, they were outside. Don't be late to school. There you go. Here we go. Have a great day. You really think your grandma material? It's an awful thing to say. You know how completely jacked this is, right? What, I am your mother. <laughs> okay. You're about as much my mother as your fork is. I just got yelled at for making breakfast. Do you want a cup of coffee? No, thank you. You notice the flowers could use a little TLC, I don't mind. Uh, sure. Look, Janice, I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm, I'm glad that your grandkids get to meet you and spend some time with you. But I'm not a fan of all the tension this creates. My Andrea is wonderful and I love her to death. She's also the most driven woman I know. She gets that from her dad. He drove a truck. He used to go on runs for like months at a time. I know. I wasn't always there for her. I know that. It's gonna take her some time. Can you give her that?
la lampara. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> El sofa. El sofa. That one's easy. That's one's pretty good. Yeah. You got that. Every day. This is not new. Thank you. Janice, Ronnie and I have a routine here. An hour of electronics, then they go to homework. We've talked about this. You're going to have to respect it if you're here. What? It feels like I'm just a piece of furniture here. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gonna be lucky. Okay. <laughs> ah, two <laughs> little. Do I have to look at my card? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't know. What do I do? It's really nice of you to share your bedroom with me. Oh yeah, I'm just glad to finally meet you. <laughs> me too. So, um, tell me about my mom. Your mom? She's a really special person. <laughs> uh, she was a cute baby. <laughs> She works a lot, doesn't she? Yeah. I feel like she's always working. Yeah. Yeah. She was always a really hard worker. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mom. You look really nice, honey. Thank you. Oh, I'm yeah. not really dressed to stay. So no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay.
is incredible. Like, w w when did you have time to do all this? I mean, I know how busy you are. Mm -hmm. My mother's here. Your mother? Like, Mommy Dearest's mother? Emma. <sighs> you have to tell us. She just showed up. I literally have no idea what to do with her. Where did she come from? <clears throat> no idea. The closet? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not mad anymore. No, <laughs> 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 Do you want your drink? No. Oh, okay. You know, growing up, my mom was actually the distant one. She was the one that just didn't really seem to care. She once told me that I was just like a piece of furniture she couldn't wait to get rid of. My dad, I mean, when he was home, he was the involved one, so I guess you would say he was the, the real parent. But your dad beat you. Yeah. I'm sorry. He was brave and he was strong and... This place is a dump, Dad. No, it's... it's an investment. I've told you before that old places like this just need a lot of, a lot of care. How's your, uh, how's your arm? It's fine. You know I'm sorry about that, right? Seeing him in the hospital, it's so weak. You know, I lived with him for 15 years. <laughs> At one point, I just had to go. I couldn't, I couldn't take the abuse anymore. <laughs> I had to love myself more, right? I had, I had to love myself more because <laughs> I didn't want to take any more punches to prove that I loved him. to go. <laughs> I loved him through all of it. <sighs> Even when it hurt. Even though I didn't understand. I loved him. And she did nothing. Nobody did anything. I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. So what was that uh, chicken dish that you brought out after all the appetizers? So oh. Chicken Vesuvio. Mm. It's kind of a Chicago thing. Mm. You need to eat. It's got peas. I don't care. Eat it! You're gonna grow up to be just as useless as your father. Eat it, Andrea. Eat the peas. Eat it. Eat it. Eat! Have you forgiven your parents? Yeah. 
many times. Remember that uh, Matthew 18 verse? Lord, how many times do I have to forgive my brother? <laughs> I believe that the Lord said 77 times and not seven times because he knew how hard it is for us to forgive. Forgiveness doesn't heal them. It heals us. Yeah. Yeah. Keep practicing. As you can see, there can be an option on the property. Why would we want an option? This is a cash deal, absolutely not. That was the agreement. I'll tell him. What? She did what? No option. I'm trying to say that this is not going to be right for the school. It is. Fun. What's going on here? Oh, hello there. Allie here is trying to defy the truth. Yeah, and you are? I am Principal Dale. I am the supreme superintendent here at this. At what are you talking about? Yeah, what she are you is talking trying about? to defy the dress code right here at Allie Lincoln called Middle me. School. I'm talking about that the fact is your daughter, Allie, here is wearing a midriff. She looks fine. What's the problem? This yeah. is a midriff. And? Her belly button is exposed. I don't even know what you're saying right now. You are still not helping me right now. Thank you. The problem being is that it is an infraction of the wardrobe. It is called a crop top. And she looks perfectly fine. Yes, she looks fine. She's still not helping mom. Can, can we get Stop. back to the business? Hush! This is called a crop top, and she looks perfectly cool. fine right here. now. It's this cool. is not your daughter. Not Stop cool. talking. It's a crop top, and she looks fine. Well, whether you call it a crop top or a midriff, it is illegal wardrobe, and it's an infraction of the school's policy. You, but, you brought me here. You brought me yeah. here yeah. because of a wardrobe infraction. When you have teenagers right in the front yard of your school selling they, drugs, yeah. out, I'm still talking. You have people outside of the store. Are you kidding me? Right Enough with you. We're leaving system? right now. Okay, we Goodbye. We're, we're leaving. We're going drugs we're outside the front listen, door. I, this is, Shame this is on what you. I'm hey, come, come back. We're not actually done here. I'm going off the rails here. Bye. Holly, I need you to go upstairs, please, so I can see grandmother. Now, please. You do not get to interfere in my kid's life like that. Do you understand me? You don't get to come in here and just be a grandmother without being a mother first. All right, you don't get to just skip that part. It's just the way it is. I can't make up all those years, Andrea. I'm dying, and I just want to make amends. You're dying? Of course you're dying. I have a blockage. Oh, you need someone to take care of you. No. I just want to make things right between us. Get dressed. Now the doctor's a friend of mine, so don't say a word, okay? Okay. Oh, look. 
There's a cute little baby scale over there. I remember when we had you on a little scale like that. How much did I weigh, Mom? You know I'm not good with numbers. Don't. Don't. Well, hello, Andrea. Hey, Phil. Great to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, thanks for helping out on that blood drive last month. Yeah, we no appreciate problem. that. So, what's going on? Phil, this is my mother, Janice. Good to meet you. She's just informed me that she's dying, so I want to actually see if that's true. Oh, okay. Are you in any uh, pain at all? No. I have coronary artery disease. Mm -hmm. My doctor told me I'm, I need like a triple bypass procedure. Where's home? Chicago. How long have you been there? My whole life. Oh, that's right. I remember you saying you were born there. Well, let me, uh, let me take a listen. All right, just breathe normally. Okay. I do hear a slight obstruction, maybe. But I would need to do, run more tests or, or look at your records to be sure. I have some records. It's So, Ms. Weber, you're, you're scheduled for surgery next week? Mm hmm Mom. I don't want to do it alone. I wish you the best. And if you want to have it here, I can recommend somebody. That, that's not a problem. But you do need to have it. Thank you. Good to meet you. to talk to Ronnie. Okay. We don't drink in our house. Yeah. Or smoke. Okay. I'll be in the car. So I was thinking if we just, if we brought all the piping around the back side, that solves the problem on this side and then the zoning won't even be an issue if that works. She has to have surgery on her heart. It's kind of a mystery in itself because I didn't know she had a heart. She wants to stay with us. I don't know. Honey, if she ever, ever hurts you again, I will be the first person to put her tail on a plane back to her house in Chicago.
start of something new and I I always believe in a fresh start <laughs> you know when dad died he whispered something in my ear that I think that he was you know, wanting to tell me for a really long time. He said that. He said that he hoped that you and I would get along better in heaven than we did here. <laughs> and he said he was sorry and he died. <laughs> I think he'll go to heaven. Yeah, I mean, I mean, why wouldn't he? He was horrible. <laughs> yeah, so was I. Pretty bad. I know that... that I... I've learned the God that I serve is a God of second, third, sometimes fourth <laughs> chances. You know, I remember once being at Grandma's house and she had one of those, like the radio preachers on. You remember those? Yes. And I remember him saying that. Even if you were the only person left on earth that Jesus loved you so much that he would still come back and go through all of that just to save you, you know? And so that's how I survived. I guess it's so weird. It's like 
I just felt like if, if Andrea Weber or Paul McCulloch could survive, I just, even though I felt like nobody else did, I knew that Jesus loved me enough that he would still die for me. He'd come for me. And I know he'd come for Dad. I know he'd come for you. <laughs> Will you forgive me, darling? This year's 2021 Real Estate Investors Award goes to Ronnie and Andrea Weber Pamanka. Wow. <laughs> This is a surprise. First, I want to thank my husband, Ronnie. I love babe. And I want to thank my family. All my family. I've learned through all this that family is precious. And it's not perfect. Sometimes it's cruel. But I also know that God has had a purpose for all of it. I've also learned that family is kind of like fixing up that old house. You know, you have to put a lot into it. And sometimes you have to be really forgiving. So thank you. But thank you, God. Because I know that you're the reason that I'm still here today. Thank you so much. <laughs>